If you were using a different sales CRM and you want to import your deals into Active Campaign, or if you want to export your Active Campaign deals to another software that you have integrated, I can show you how in this quick video. I'm Jason, growth specialist at Wildmail, where we help make Active Campaign even better for your based businesses. Let's check it out. So first, before we go over how to import and export your deals, let's talk about pipelines and deals very quickly. So pipelines uh, for sales are the processes or journeys that a uh, sales opportunity takes from a lead to a conversion, and it's made up of stages. Now, a deal, this is a record for a contact. You can have multiple deals if you have multiple products, uh, but the deal is the specific record uh, for a contact that has entered your pipeline and they're on track to become a customer for a specific product. Uh, this helps you distinguish between your qualified contact leads and the rest of your contacts that you have inside Active Campaign. And you want to predefine uh, what it means to be a qualified lead so that you know when to create a deal for a contact. It's usually based on a specific lead score, a specific action or engagement that they take with your brand. So those are pipelines and deals. And now let's go over how to actually import your deals. Now, there are a few quick notes uh, before we jump into Active Campaign here that I want to cover. The import tool is only going to import CSV files up to 100 MB. Uh, the pipeline stages and deal custom fields that we'll go over that need to be included in your CSV file. Uh, they need to be configured inside Active Campaign before you try to import your deals or it'll throw an error. Your deal owners also need to be created. These are AC account holders with permission to um, work as you know part of your sales team and view uh, deals and be owners for deals. They have to be created. Uh, deals will all be imported with an open status. You have three different statuses. You have uh, open, one, and lost for deals. In this case, when you import them, they're all going to be marked as open. Uh, and so you'll have to adjust that if needed. And then deals that do not have a defined value get a default value of $100 upon import. So we highly recommend that you do include the values uh, inside your CSV file if you can. And finally, um, more customization for deal import is available via the Active Campaign API docs. We'll link those below in the, uh, the description, and this will help you handle some of the settings for deals, the specific settings or information related to deals that you can't do with this kind of general uh, manual import. So we're going to go into deals, import deals, and that's in the left here, deals. And we're going to go to import deals in the top right. First, you're going to select your file. And this is just the reminder that it has to include pipeline, stage, deal title, deal owner, and the contact for, uh, for the deal. So we're going to select the file. And now we're going to map the deal field. So we've got the pipeline and the active campaign field name here. This is going to be the pipeline name matching with the pipeline column. Stage matches to the stage name, which is new lead. Deal title matches to deal title. All of the stars obviously mean that it's a required field for the deal. Deal owner is going to be myself in this example uh, as the sales team member. And then the contact is just going to be uh, the email for this test contact. You can open up advanced options. This will allow blank fields to override existing data. Uh, you can also set a pipeline for deals that do not have a pipeline to automatically send them into a default pipeline. So I'm going to hit import. And depending on how many uh, deals that you're importing, it can take a while. So there is a separate page inside your Active Campaign account. And it's the import status page. This is also where you'll find the status of any exports here. Uh, but you can see this is our import that we just started by myself. It's a deal import. We've got no errors. It's still, this isn't finalized. You can see the status is importing. And when it's done, you'll have uh, the deals added to your pipeline. And just a few last quick notes. Make sure your field values don't have any line breaks or that'll cause it to throw an error. Make sure your date fields are formatted like this. 
And then multiple values for a field have to be separated by a comma like this. Okay, so when you're mapping your fields and when you're setting it up inside your account here, any additional information that you're adding to the deal for the deal fields, it's going to have to have a comma in between the uh, values if you have multiple values in one field. Now let's talk about how to export deals. You can go to deals again and go to the specific pipeline that you want to export. So let's go to deals. We'll go to our product sales demo pipeline. And then go to the settings here, the settings gear right next to the name of the pipeline. Click export. And you can see it says your export has started and then you'll get a download link, which will be available at the page that I just mentioned, which is the import export status page here. So now if I go into import export status, I can go to export and I can see this export that we just started and the status is that it is exported. So that's exporting deals by a specific pipeline. And then another way to do this is to export all of your deals. And you can do this by going to deals and selecting the hamburger menu. So back inside deals over here, select this menu. Then adjust your filters here so that deal owners is all, status is all, pipeline is all, stage is all. And obviously you can configure this however you'd like, uh, depending on which, which deals you want to export. But if you want to export all of your deals, this is how you do it. You would set them to all, go to the gear, hit export, and it will export all of these deals. Uh, instead of just one specific pipeline and, and the deals related to that pipeline. So if you have any questions around how to import or export your deals in ActiveCampaign, drop them in the comments below.